From the studios of Carl Middle School to Connecticut, America, planet Earth, and the Milky Way, this is CMS Student News. Good morning, CMS. I'm Jillian. Cromwell Middle School just finished its second week of distance learning. CMS Student News encourages all students to access their Google Classroom pages. When you access the Google Classroom pages, check out what assignments are posted there and write hello messages to your teachers. They would love to hear from you. Hello, everyone. Please check out your class's Google Classroom pages. Send your teachers a hello message. They would love to hear from you. It is important right now that we all try to stay connected with e to each other. So take a minute and say hello to your teachers in Google Classroom. Hello, Cromwell Middle School. I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. Uh, I am here to give you your special Friday edition of Mindset Monday. <laughs> That's my dog. Now, if, uh, if you're not familiar with Mindset Monday, if you've had me as a teacher, my condolences, you know that Mindset Monday is when I take a few minutes to explain how to keep a growth mindset and how the brain works. And if you haven't had me, lucky you, uh, here's your first taste. So today we're going to do a lesson on how your brain works, because I hear that maybe some of you are not doing all of your online assignments. So I'm here to tell you why you should. So your brain is always growing. It never stops, even when you're as old as me. And I'm not saying I'm old, but when I went to school, there was no history class. I was pausing there for your laugh. So I want to show you how the brain works and why you should keep it active. So your brain is made up of millions and millions of cells, brain cells called neurons. And they kind of look like this. You'll notice here is the main part, and they have this little arm that goes out with all of these little outstretched parts looking for connections. Every time you learn something, your brain cells are connecting, making these neural connections, and the more you use your brain, the stronger they get. So the more you do it, the more connections you have, and your brain kind of looks like this. Now, these neural connections are like muscles. The more you use them, the stronger they get. But if you don't use them, you lose them. So we want to make sure that you don't lose your brain muscles. So let me tell you about a scientific experiment that proved all this. So they took two rats. Here is rat number one. And they put him right here in an empty cage. Nothing but eating and sleeping for this rat. They took another rat. There he is. And they put it in another cage. But in this cage, they put all kinds of stimulating things like art, pictures, like puzzles. See? Puzzles. You have to put the little snowman in the big snowman. They put in other rats. And they kept the brain active for this rat. When they examined their brains later, they found that the rat, with all of the stimulation, whose brain kept growing, his brain was actually denser, it was smarter when they took, did tests, and it actually weighed more because he was using his brain. This little rat, unfortunately, not so much. So how can you be like this rat and not like this rat? So to keep your brain active, yes, you should be doing your online lessons, including math, but you can also do other things like read. I put that one in for you, Mrs. Stearns. You can go outside, maybe learn about birds. You can cook, figure out what you can make, kids in the kitchen, learning how to do that. You can teach yourself to play chess. There you go. So all of these things will keep your brain active, will keep those neural connections growing and getting stronger so that you will have, oh, 
man, a really heavy brain, as opposed to an empty brain. So that is Mindset Monday for this Friday. Uh, I hope that it gave you some inspiration to keep learning. We teachers here are thrilled to see the response we're getting from most of you. Uh, let's try and get that up to 100%. I hope you're all staying happy and safe. Uh, I hope we see you soon because uh, I miss uh, saying hello in the hallway and uh, maybe, you know, writing you a blue slip. But uh, take care and uh, I'll see you next time on Mindset Monday, Friday edition. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Just want to let you know how I'm doing during this quarantine. Now, as many of you know that we can't really go a lot of places, but I'm still checking my emails. I'm still trying to get back to my routine, but some aspects of my life had to change. For instance, the gyms across Connecticut are closed, so I had to improvise and use things that are lying around my house, um, like a baby. Okay, okay. A dog, 1001, 1002, or both. Going for a walk. Uh, FaceTime has been used to safely communicate with my family members, and hopefully, you guys are able to use that as well with your friends. I know it's a tough time, and I know it's a little difficult not seeing them, but don't worry, we're already getting through this. John, okay, don't mind that. Um, but Disney Plus has been really the MVP during all of this. Okay, okay, we gotta stop that. Let's try that again. Disney Plus has been the real MVP throughout this because my son could watch videos and movies that I grew up with. Don't get me wrong, I try to teach him square roots and multiplication, but this is the result. Johnny, I'm just gonna teach you some math. I guess we'll try again next week. In all seriousness, Complete the assignments that we assigned to you guys and know that we're here for any questions. Just email us. You know, but more importantly, enjoy this time with your family and stay safe. I know I'm appreciating every minute with my son and no matter how crazy he could be. And my husband, he's an officer, so he always makes sure he takes the correct precautions to make sure he also comes home safely. We miss you guys and hope to see you guys soon. I'm sure you've heard the term social distancing. But what is social distancing? What does it look like? And how can we be sure we're practicing social distancing? Social distancing is when people increase the physical space between them and another person to avoid the spread of illness. To understand what social distancing looks like, we go to Mr. Kiss and his two daughters. They will use a tape measure to show us just how far apart you should be from other people. Take a look. Okay, so we're going to do a simple experiment here in my driveway to show you what six a six foot distance should look like. So let's say you were walking at Watchers Park and you came across someone, you, someone you maybe you knew, and you want to stay at least six feet apart from that person. So uh, take a look. This is Alexa and Abby. Alexa, raise your hand. Abby, raise your hand. Alexa and Abby are six feet apart from each other. If I if I move down here, you may notice that there is a yellow line on the on the driveway. So what we did was I measured with a tape measure to see how far six feet is. And then we drew a yellow line or I drew a yellow line to demonstrate that. Uh, a simple way is if either of them reached out their arms to the other, they could not obviously reach each other. So remember, when you're out walking around, stay six feet away from people you come across. So on CMS Student News, we're hoping for video shout outs from students and teachers. Just a hello to our school community. So this week we have Miss Gregoric saying hello. Hello from Mrs. Gregoric. Miss you all. Hope you're all doing well. One thing that you should remember to do while you're doing distance learning at home is exercise. You know, find time to get outside, especially on a nice day like today. 
our PE department with Mr. Penny and Mrs. Woodford is doing a push-up challenge. 10 push-ups. You can check them out in a few moments on this video. So if you feel up to it, this is for students and teachers. Do, do the 10 push-up challenge. Take a video of yourself doing it and send it to us and maybe we'll feature, feature you on a future CMS Student News. So 10 push-ups. Hope you're all staying healthy. Mr. Penny and I are ch challenging all of you to do a 10 push-up push-up challenge. Here's mine. Let's see what you got. Good luck. Ten. And how you should stay active, you should check out the PE department's Google Classroom distance learning page. The code of, for that page is on the screen right now. If you're not on it, check it out. Everyone stay safe. Remember to wash your hands often. We will all be back together real soon. Thank you, CMS. That is our show. Good morning and have a pleasant Friday. Oh.